Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. Today we will discuss the basic of electronics relay and how to make a simple relay circuit. Now this is a construction of a simple electronics relay and this is a 12 volt electronics relay. These two are the coil terminal I have shown you in the figure. The middle one is a common terminal as indicated here and this is normally closed terminal and this is normally open terminal so if normally closed and normally open is not visible or not indicated at the binet then how to identify it we can identify it by simple continuity test with the help of multimeter now you can see here when the coil is de-energized the common terminal and normally closed terminal is connected so I am selecting the continuity mode of the multimeter now if I connect the two probe of the multimeter across common terminal and normally closed terminal I will get the continuity so these are common terminal and normally closed terminal are connected and this should be open non common and normally open terminal so I am not getting any continuity between these two terminal. Now if I energize the coil with the 12 volt supply. Now I am energizing the coil with the 12 volt supply. The coil will turn into an electromagnet. And now the common and previously normally closed terminal will get open circuited and these two will closed so of course now if i check the continuity i will get the continuity between common and normally open terminal so i am getting the continuity between common and previously normally open terminal so this relay is ok now if i see the construction of this relay you will find as I said earlier there is a coil which turned into electromagnet when we energized it let's see it and these are the terminal contact the middle one is a common terminal and upper one is a normally closed and lower one is a normally open terminal so I can show you first I am giving the 12 volt supply to coil terminal let's see what will happen now the coil has turned into electromagnet now this is a piece of needle let's check it now you can see the needle is attracted by the coil as it turn into electromagnet if I remove the supply from the coil you can see again I am giving the supply to coil and as I am removing it needle will fall now let's see the contacts of the relay now please concentrate in this portion you will see the movement of the moving contact as soon as I energize the coil now the normally open is closed with the common terminal as I have energized the coil again as I de-energized it came into previous position thus the relay function we will discuss in details of the construction of this different type of relay in the end of this video now we will make a simple relay circuit with the help of this 12 volt relay 
now we'll make this simple relay circuit to explain how a relay should be connected in a circuit so to make this circuit on this vero board we'll require a 12 volt electronics relay two leds one switch a 100 ohm resistor a 9 volt battery battery connector and some connecting wires so let's make this circuit on this vero board first i am going to connect this 12 volt relay now these two are the coil terminal as indicated here and middle one is a common terminal and this is no contact and this is nc contact now i am going to connect this on this vero board next i am going to connect the 100 ohm resistor with the common terminal and other lead of the 100 ohm resistor will go to positive rail this is the positive rail now i have connected the resistor now i will connect the leds now at no contact i will connect the red led you can see here this is the positive terminal of the led and this is the negative terminal of the led i have shown you the polarity of the led should be connected now anode should be connected to no contact and cathode will go to negative rail now this is the negative rail and connecting the led with the vero board now next i will connect the yellow led which i will connect with the nc and negative rail now i have to maintain the same polarity i mentioned in this circuit anode will go to nc contact of the relay and cathode will go to negative rail Now two LED are placed on this vero board. This portion of the circuit is completed. Now I will make the coil circuit. I have shown you in the circuit in green line. For that I have to place the switch. This switch. Then with the help of connecting wire, I am connecting it with the relay as I have shown here now these are the two terminal I will connect the positive of the 12 volt supply to this green wire and negative should be connected to this wire now, I'm now the coil supply which is 12 volt in this case will go in this two terminal and for the led i will use this 9 volt battery and i will connect the positive lead to positive rail and negative lead to negative rail As soon as I have connected the battery, the yellow LED is glowing as the common terminal and NC contact of the relay is shorted previously when the coil is de-energized. So as here yellow LED is connected, so it's glowing. 
let's see what will happen if I supply the coil with the 12 volt let me give the power to coil now with the help of this switch I can turn on supply to coil or I can turn off the supply to coil now as soon as I will supply or energize the coil you will see that red LED will glow as the moving contact will short the previously normally NO and common terminal that time LED will glow during the energized of the coil let's see I have energized the coil with the help of this switch now you can see the common terminal and NO contact is closed so this red LED is glowing again I am de-energizing the coil the yellow LED is glowing again energizing the coil the red LED is glowing as the common and NO is shorted thus we can make a simple relay circuit I have made this circuit just to explain how to connect a relay in a circuit now we will connect a 220 volt CFL lamp instead of LED and we will control that lamp with the help of this relay for that I have to remove this 9 volt supply I have to remove this LED and I have to remove this 100 ohm register the coil circuit will be same as before now to control this 220 volt CFL lamp with the help of this relay I have to connect the lamp with the help of this circuit diagram with this relay now let me show you I have connected the lamp to 220 volt supply and this is glowing after connecting it now how to control it with the help of this relay for that you can see here I will open this two terminal I've just opened this two terminal and one of this terminal I will connect to in a contact of the relay another terminal I will connect to common lead or common terminal of the relay as I have shown it here the coil circuit will be same as previous now when I will energize the coil the common and NO contact will short it that time the lamp will glow as the circuit is completed when the coil is de-energized then common and NC will be shorted and common NO will get open circuited that time the lamp will not get the supply so it will not glow let's see now I am giving the 12 volt supply to lamp as the coil is de-energized so lamp is not glowing though the supply is given to lamp as soon as I will turn on this switch what will happen the coil will energize and the common and NO contact will closed and the lamp will get supply and it will glow let's see as I turn on the switch the coil is energized and the lamp start glowing as I am turning off the coil supply coil will be energized and this will get opened so lamp will turn off thus I can control the 220 volt with this simple 12 volt circuit so of course this will remove the shock hazard 
which is the main function of the relay we can control the large amount of power using comparatively small amount of power thus a electronics relay is used in a circuit now we will discuss the rating of different type of electronics relay and how to connect those relay with the circuit now this is a 12 volt electronics relay as the coil voltage is 12 volt indicated here and the terminal are indicated by the number now one to other coil terminal these two are the coil terminal four is the common terminal this is a common terminal and three is a nc contact and five is a no contact as is written on the body thus we can identify the coil voltage and how to connect the relay with the circuit now for this relay you can see here it is a also 12 volt relay which is a coiled voltage the maximum power you can control with this relay is indicated here now for ac power you can control up to 10 amp and 250 volt with power factor 1 and 7.5 amps to 50 volt with power factor 0.4 and for DC 10 ampere and 30 volt and the coil supply which is 12 volt is written on the relay now for this relay there are only four terminal these two are the coil terminal as indicated and these are the inner contact so when the coil will energize these two contact will shorted otherwise this will be open circuited thus you can connect this relay now for this relay you can see these are the contacts this is the middle one the common terminal which is also moving contact this is nc contact the right one and the left one is a no contact now as soon as i am giving the supply to coil you will see the movement of the middle contact now sorry you can see that as soon as coil is energized now the moving contact which is a common terminal and no contact is closed and I am going to disconnect the supply now again as previous common terminal and NC contact is closed and as the coil is turned into electromagnet this movement of the moving contact is occurring Now this is a special type of electronics relay you can see the number of terminal there are 12 terminal present here now among this terminal two other coil terminal two and ten other coil terminal which is this terminal and this terminal and rest of the terminal some of them are NC contact some of them are common contact some of them are you know, contacts so this is a special type of relay where we require the number of you know, and nc contact we can use this type of relay and here you can see this is a coil and these are the contacts one two three these are the contacts I hope you have understood how to connect different type of electronics relay with the circuit and I have also explained the basic working principle of an electronics relay. So if this video is helpful to you, please do subscribe us and don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. See you on the next video. Bye bye.